Hello, you're welcome to Classic Data Lab, where we provide you with the needed skills to extract insight, add value, and make impact from data. In today's video, I'm going to teach you Markdown in Jupyter Notebook. We will cover about 12 things you can do in Markdown, um, including creating headers, board, uh, boarding text, uh, creating an italic text, um, even creating content like what you are seeing at the moment where well, you can navigate to the middle of it of your notebook like this and then move back to the content you can also move to the end of it and then move back to the beginning right so that's uh, some of the things that we will learn here to get the best out of this video try and watch to the end all right so let's get started what is markdown markdown like html is a markup language right developed by john gruber and aaron swart for creating formatted text using plain text editor right so Mark, markdown also use tags like uh, html it is light and easily uh transferable because of that it's being used by data scientists most of the time for writing right so that's a markdown for you all right so um let's move straight to the first thing that we want to learn in markdown you can create headers of different sizes but before you even try to create a markdown in jupyter notebook make sure that the cell that you are working in is changed to a markdown cell you can do that by just coming to this box here and click on markdown that's one way of doing it um let me reverse it and show you another way of doing it if you also if you want to use a shortcut once the cell is highlighted blue just press m it will change it to a markdown to you if you want to reverse just press y it will take you back to a, a code cell if you want to know more about these shortcuts watch my video introduction to jupyter notebook the link can be found in the description below all right so to create a header there are two methods Number one is using the hash sign and then space, right? So let's say you want to create header like the one you are seeing here. You could see that here, our header one up to header six. If the, the, the lesser the number of hash signs, the bigger the, the header, right? Or the, the bigger the writings. So here, if you use hash, just uh, one hash sign, then the header is h1. When we use two, h2 a3 and so on right so let's say that you want to write a title like this first as i said make sure that your cell is a markdown cell so i've changed it to a markdown cell by just pressing m when it is when the cell is highlighted blue then i write i bring my hashtag sign then space then the any word i want to write maybe it's a title in this case okay and then i run it that's it so it becomes uh uh a, a header for me right so that's how that's one way to create a header if you want to make it small just add another hash sign and it reduces so if you the least you can go i mean uh reduce to is six hash sign so that means you have header six okay and it becomes very very small for you all right so that's z this is how we create uh a header using the hash signs in markdown all right so the method two is to use html tags or you can use tags that as you know in html so if you want header one you have your opening tag here and then your closing tag here with the uh, header h1 inside of the h1 tag that's the one we use to create a h1 header if you want to reduce the size just increase the number h2 h3 up to h6 when you run this you also get the same output right so then you know the two ways to create a header in jupyter notebook then then the second thing we want to learn is how to bold a text okay so there are two ways to also bold in a text there are times that you want to bold a text in a in a writing you want to just give emphasis or place emphasis on a particular phrase or word and to do that you decide to bold in it it can be done in two ways in Jupyter in uh, Markdown. You can use 
the uh you can use double asterisks or double underscores okay to do that so let's see the examples here here the, the sentence reads to become a successful data scientist you need to be self-disciplined and consistent so i want to please emphasize on self-disciplined and consistent so to do that i just bring two asterisk signs before the word or before the phrase self discipline but there shouldn't be any space right no gap and that's it and i want to close it or i want just that particular word to be bolded so then i will bring two asterisks at the end again and same thing is being done for the consistent if you don't want to use the asterisk you can use underscores okay you bring double underscore before the word and then double underscore after it to bold in it and that is it when you run this you realize that they all do the same thing the words are being bolded all right so that's uh how to bold in a text for you method one uh if you don't want to go by this method you can also use the html tags the bold tags whereby you bold it you use uh, you bring your open tag the b tag here and then you also bring your closing b tag right and then that is it you have it here bolding so this is bold okay then the third thing we want to learn is how to create italic text okay it also has two methods number one is to use single asterisk or single underscore like you you did you 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 learned uh with the bolding right the only difference is here it is single instead of double okay so let's see that let's read the sentences here uh to become a successful data science you need to be self-disciplined okay so to do that you just have to bring your asterisk uh in front of it without any space and then asterisk after the uh word where you want I mean the particular word that you want to italize make sure that you have asterisk before it and then at the end of it and that is all right so here you could see the self-discipline there's an asterisk before and an asterisk at the end the same thing for the consistent if you don't want to use the asterisk you can use an underscore so underscore before the word uh, underscore at the end of it and you run this you realize that these words are being italized now um what you can also do is maybe you may want to bolden it at the same time italize it now that this word is italized right you can now bold in it how do you do that bring your double under your double asterisk again okay before it so let's have uh two right and then another one closing it here so when i run this you could see that it is bolding and at the same time italized you can also uh, bold in it first and then italize it or italize it first and then bold in it right so maybe you may want to please emphasis by italizing and at the same time bolding so that can also be done as you've seen over here all right the same thing if you want to italize using the tag you just have to use the i uh, tag here right opening tag and then your closing tag that is also very easy for you that's method two all right great then how to underline a text sometimes you want to underline a text that's can easily be done using the tag the u tag right so you have the opening tag here and then the closing tag here before it and then after it uh whether for the tag whether you bring a space or not is it usually doesn't matter but with the uh, signs if you bring a space it will either work or not work depending on the requirement of that particular uh format okay so then we move to strike true sometimes you want to strike through a word to do that all that you need to do is to bring um a tilde the tilde sign before the word or the phrase or the sentence and then a tilde sign at the end of it and you will see it being struck through like this okay now the fifth thing we want to learn is how to create a table this is very very important right so to create a table in markdown is quite easy but can be uh, a little bit tricky so let me show you how that is being done let's go with the first method the first method is where we use the uh, dash dashes and then uh, space 
and pipes okay so let's let me show you how it's been done for instance i want to create a table like you are seeing here you see the operator this these are arithmetic operators in python so you see the plus operator and then what it does right so the operator and its action plus minus star for multiplication uh forward slash for division then we have the percentage sign for modulo and then double forward slash for integer division or floor division so let's see how i was able to get this table nicely like this so you if you want to open to get the code just double click that particular cell as i've done here just double click it and then you will see the uh the writings so let's see here what the first thing is that if you want to create a vertical line just bring a, a pipe so we bring a pipe here then we we create uh we bring another pipe then the space a pipe then the word that we want so this what plot becomes a column this becomes a column here then this also becomes a column so whatever follows uh it also takes the same format now if you bring small small dashes uh here you are just creating a vertical line right so this one means that i'm creating a vertical line here that's the next uh, row and this one to a vertical line then it follows like that so you bring uh your 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 first sign here right, and put it in your pipes right and the action to in another pipe like that so that this one creates the lines for me if let me just cut this off and run this for you to see what will happen here right you get that right so if i come here and then I add let me say add the only the addition sign and I run it you could see that it's adding the next row right so you can you keep on doing it until you exhaust all the elements you want to bring into the table right so this is how we create tables in Jupyter uh, notebook markdown if you also want to use the tag method that's the method too is simple use the table tag but in the table tag you also have the tr tag over there right so this the table this is the table tag the opening of it and then the closing tag for the table then you move within that tag you now create the tr tag here right this is for first row right then for in any row you want to create you also have it here and then the table content so you just have to understand what tag to use at what point in time right and this usually seems bulky for me so i prefer using the uh the the dash and then the pipes okay all right now point six you want to learn how to create bullets right or on ordered list there are also two methods to do that the first is to use the 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 plus sign minus sign or asterisk right symbol with a space before even whatever you are going to write so let's take something like this example i want to write the pillars of data science include computer programming statistics domain knowledge so i can just bring to make each one a bullet or an other list i just have to bring the sign before the word and the space okay you bring a space the sign a space and then the word that you want to bullet so you could see here this is the minus sign this is the space and then computer programming when i run this you just realize that it has bulleted them nicely for me you can have bullets within a bullet right let's say if you have something like this and then you want to make another bullet in it just make sure that um it is not at the same level right so let's write computer program right python here and see nope all right so you could see this right so you have a bullet and then you are also creating an internal bullet so you can move you can do that uh more and more right right so if you also do another one here let me see that too. let me call this r programming you could see that it is still i mean creating it with a different bullet right so you can create sub bullets within a bullet the option is yours okay so that's it you can use this could also be the si the sign plus uh, 
the the plus sign or even asterisk right so i can change this to let's make this one the asterisk right and then we can move change all of them or even some of them to asterisk so it doesn't matter let me just change the outer ones to asterisk for you to see the effect right you see that so the same thing and then if you also want to make this even a plus it, that one will also work for you so that's it you use the sign met the, the minus method the plus met the plus or the uh, asterisks and that will allow you to have your bullets okay all right so let's now move to the second method the second method in in uh, creating on other lists or bullets is just to use the ul tag okay on on other list like the way we do in html the same thing right then within that particular tag you pass in your uh list tags as you can see here right and you you run it and you get your uh bullets over here i i usually prefer using the symbols than using the tags because sometimes the tags become very very bulky and then you can easily get yourself confused so that's how we uh create on ordered list in uh markdown especially in jupyter notebook when it comes to the next point creating a numbered or ordered list you have different methods we have method one using numbers dots and space okay so let me just have to bring a number right right or let's say one two three just make sure that there is a space after a, 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 the number a dot and then a space and that is it that will uh create the bullets for you or the numbers for you right now this particular one here um method two is also using tags okay that's you can see that instead of it being a ul it's now ol on ordered um, ordered list and then you pass in your tags at the end of the day automatically it numbers is for you right so that's how we create uh numbering or we number uh elements in markdown okay now uh the eight one that you are seeing here is called uh, creating a, a code section there are times that you are creating a markdown or you are preparing notes and you want the code that will produce a particular result to be seen as such okay you know you, markdown just doesn't support only python it also support other languages so to do this first thing is you can use the tag right or you can use the the text the back text here the back text is usually seen on the same point at the same point with the tilde usually below your escape sign in case you are not familiar with that you see the back tick over there all right so the back text okay for instance you want to just create an inline uh a code just bring the back tick one before the sentence and then one at the end when you run it you get this uh you get it here like it will create an inline code for you right highlighting it but if you want to create a block of code i mean code section what you have to do is that just bring the back text three of them one two three and then the programming language that the code uh comes from for instance this is a python code so i have to write python okay after the back text i write python and then i close the back text if i want i close it if i don't want i can leave it there so whether you close it or not you will still get the same results then you just bring the codes in the it will run you see the codes the highlighting everything will be done as if you're writing in the code cell but it wouldn't produce that result or it's not going to run as a code okay so you could see here so if you copy this and paste you will get um the results as expected but if you don't uh bring this uh back text and then the python is going to mess up so let's say we take this away and then let's run this so it, it may not mess up but you don't see the highlighting right and if so everything will just be scattered like this other times even it will just uh, come as a one row or something right so something that you should take note of right so that's it that's how we create a, a block code in um, a code section in 
mark down you can also decide to use the tags okay to do that just bring the cool tag here at the beginning the opening tag and then the closing tag remember that the closing tag is quite different now and when you run this one it will just create a block of code for you or a code section for you right uh, i prefer still i prefer this using the back text than using the uh, code tag here great we can also um uh, create line breaks you realize that for instance you want to write a whole note like this or send um, page like this what you, what you you have to do you have to bring uh, anytime you want to break a line you have to use break right here to do that so for instance uh, classic data lab and then um, I'm, I'm making it a link I will teach you how to insert the link very soon uh, it's a, a channel dedicated to helping people while uh, help people build strong technical and soft skills to draw insight and add value add value and make a Im positive impact from available data so if you want to write this thing right and you don't bring a break everything will be connected like into one sentence and so on so everything will just be one and then be flowing uh, downwards so sometimes you want to break it if you want to break it there are two ways of doing that number one is to use the break tag any any point that you want it to create a new line just bring break it's like a, a space or um enter in this case okay so when you run it you will see that it will be like it will move to the next lines as you want it okay right so that's uh the line break for you so you break the line to the next line using the br tag if you don't want to do that the method two is that you just use uh double spacing so when we want to create a new line just space double right so if you don't for instance if you here if you don't bring the double spacing you realize that it will be one so when i run this you could see that the first and the second sentence has been combined to one sentence but if i break bring uh double space here or a space between it you could see that it's now uh into different lines okay so that's how we create new lines or we break a whole line to two line in uh in in markdown okay the option is yours whether you want to use the brick tag or you want to use the double uh the spacing i think the spacing makes it nicer just that it takes more space that's it all right so we move to inserting an image there are times that you want to insert an image into your markdown to show your audience something like the way you see me do here right um you could see that we have this particular uh and we have classic data lab it's a link and then this is the image there are times you want to do things like that so if you want to do something like that all that you need to do is to make sure that your image is in your current working directory assuming you've forgotten about your where your folder is or where you're working from please type pwd okay right yeah it will it means i'm in jetro and then i'm in my on my desktop so that's where i'm working from so i expect i have to make sure the image is in that particular in folder that's in the desktop okay um once again if for, if you don't know how to get these things kindly watch my videos on introduction to jupyter notebook the link is in the description below all right so here the image you can use the img tag here but if you are familiar with html you realize that this is exactly what has been done over there so you just sub, uh, give the source that's the image name here and then you control the width the, and then the height of the image right so here the width is 400 and the height is 400 and when i run this one you see that the image has been inserted in for me now you realize you see the word image here because i will i wrote this so that you will know uh, that it's an image okay so you can also write any other word that you want and then it will appear for you so here that's it you have the image here being uh inserted in the markdown for you another option is to just import the image or uh, using the ipython display okay so from ipython import image 
in this case your cell is no more a markdown it's a code cell you run as a code okay you can you could you can import this at the beginning of your code and then when you want to display an image you just have to call the image uh, function specify the height and then the URL just basically refresh to where the image is if it is on the is if it's online or on a, a web browser make sure that you provide the url to the image if it's on your computer definitely in the same folder just have to supply the the image that name since you're in the same folder right this it will is the same as the path and you run this you also get the same results okay but this comes as more of a, a code rather than a markdown great now the last but one point is how to insert link in certain links um helps you create table of contents right okay so if you want to know how to create table of content then you have to pay attention uh to this point how to insert a link we have internal link and then external link internal link takes you within the the same notebook right you want to move up you want to move to the middle you want to move to a particular point the internal links allows you to do that but the external links is uh when you want to insert let's say a url to a particular website to a particular video or a particular page online okay then that's the external links so let's see how you can do the internal links to create an internal link just put the the word that you want to show okay uh in a square bracket like you see here okay and then um you make sure you've created headers or uh, yeah headed that should different sections for instance we have markdown as the title that we saw over over the earlier on and so you put the markdown that particular section of the notebook into your curly brackets like you see over here all right and what do you do then you bring um a hash symbol before it no space no space okay then that is it so i'm going to show you that run this and then show you where it will take me to so i want to, when i click on topic it take me straight to the markdown you get that it takes me here so this was what i inserted in there so it takes me straight to the markdown so when i run this one um i want to go back to to the end i can click to the end here the same thing i've done over there but uh, i want to show you some tricks here now um here this is the second one create table but you realize that uh, the writing here, I just copied the header five dot creating a table in there. Why the dashes? If uh, it doesn't allow spaces, so if I want to, uh, if I want to have it work for me, I should write it without any space. So you could see that the five point, uh, the five dot before the creating a table. There's no space everything is one but creating a table there'll definitely be space so in naming it or in creating it, i decided to uh, bring that dash over there so that there will not be any space that's one method another method is that um allow the space to be in the title okay like we could see here uh, in the creating headers creating and then space headers so where i see the space then i rather bring a dash during the link creation right great so here it was already there i mean i created it aside the name was or creating dash a, um dash a dash uh, what do you call it table but this particular one there wasn't dash in the title right in the header so i decided to bring the dash here and now when i run this you could see that they are the all of them works okay so let me go to creating a table for you to see something you see here the name there wasn't any i mean gap so i just copied it and then kept it in there forget about this uh what about tax that comes over there right the tax should be one in it so let me go back to it right let me scroll back here and show it again the headers okay let me click let me take you to the headers and show you here this is the headers right so you could see that one creating headers there's a space here there's a space here right so if i if i just copy this like this okay but make sure you run it before you you move you t the link will work make sure that it's been run don't allow it to be like this. you have to run it first before the link will work so let me come here open this here and then 
let's give it a new name so let's have something like let's call this headers okay yeah then let's have uh let's have our curly bracket here and just paste it control v so this is it if i if i run this realize that something is wrong because i didn't bring this my hash here okay so i brought it now and still i'm getting the same problem what do you think is happening okay let's check and see we have headers here basically the same thing that we are having um i, I guess because i'm having this one here and cut it okay that's not even the problem so what could be the problem in this case let me open it up and see if everything is okay All right so now something is wrong and i believe those who are observant might have seen it already okay so then let's take let's bring a dash here okay no dash then no gap okay then run this and now it's working great so what was wrong because there is a space here right so when there is a space in the in the title in the header make sure you close that space with a with with a dash okay and then you run it then it will work for you you can see that right so that's something that you need to pay attention to and please there's no gap between the 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 square bracket and then the uh curly bracket if you bring a space it will also give a different thing right so that's how we create internal links i'll show you how you combine this to create a table of content okay all right um let me know if you have any comment or any question um leave it under the comments the comment section and i'll address that for you all right so in setting internal external links what we did was internal links external links is like uh, you have um you want to insert a link to a particular website or something online okay so for instance you could see that when i click on introduction introduction to jupyter notebook right now it takes me to that particular youtube channel all right the video okay so um let me put that off so if you want to do that there's a way of doing it how how does how does it happen just let's see the examples here so you have the link just write the same thing like the image um the first one you did the link put bring a square bracket and whatever text you want to show as your link write it in there and then you bring your curve brackets and put in that particular that particular url and that is all so it is now a hyperlink okay so when i run this one you see that they are underlined with links all these are links if i click on it and then my internet is on it will take me straight to those particular video or if you have the notebook with you if you download the notebook and you click on it it will take you to the video that has been inserted here so that's a uh, hyper i mean creating a hyperlink or an external link in markdown all right now uh you can also uh like create a table of content using the internal links so for instance for instance at the end of this particular notebook I have brought something like back to the back to lesson content so when i click on this it take me to the lesson content this is the last thing that we will do before we close all right so under lesson content let me open it for you to see basically what i've done is that i have i will write different sections like this is creating header uh, uh bolding the text and so on these are the different points that i've written and i want to be i want to easily navigate to them so what i can do is I just create internal links okay as i showed you here you could see that 
uh, the first header or the first section is creating headers then I create the internal link here right by bringing in that particular one you know you could have double uh, asterisk um, double hash please don't worry about the hash just make one even if you have six of them you just bring one hash here no space nothing there shouldn't be any space we in the care brackets okay so if there's space in the writing in the header that you've written please bring a space over bring a, a dash over there to close the space okay and that will work for you if you don't do that it wouldn't work or you write it such a way that there's no space in your in your markdown or in your header just don't bring a space so that you just copy and paste over there but sometimes you have to write a phrase so definitely there will be a space okay yeah so that's um the the content for you so the you just have to do that for the different sections as you, you can see here and and at the end of the day you just run it right so this has become a table of content so if i want to move to let's say eight creating a code section i just click on it and then it takes me there i don't have to scroll and if i want to go back you can also you can create a link that takes you back to the lesson content okay like you can see you see over here so when i click on this it takes me back to the lesson content it makes navigation very very easy right so it takes me to the end i want to go back to the lesson it takes me back to the lesson so you can even decide to insert back to the lesson content under each of the sections so that anytime you want to go back to the lesson content it easily takes you back all right so that's the end of today's video you've learned 12 things that you can do um, in jupyter notebook markdown the most important thing is you have to practice if you watch me do and you don't practice you will get errors when you want to do them yourself so kindly practice you can get access to this notebook from um, classic data lab github right so i've included the link in the description below so if you want to have access to this particular notebook to practice kindly click on that link it will take you to the uh, notebook and you just download it see you in the next video where we'll start with python programming bye for now